Go ahead and we'll start this field. There is, like I said, there's one uh, out here that I need to pick up, but I'll grab that during the time lapse. I think it's like right over there, yeah. I want to get this field done so it's ready to go next month. We just, right now, we just need to decide which one we can afford as far as, uh, you know, what's been, you know, what the field is doing. Because I did see actual scores on the field. I mean, whether we can get to actually see the, the soil type or not is another thing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on here.
and I'm thinking we might down the road, I mean, like one time just take off the piece up there at the top that's rounded, another time take off another spot that's rounded, and just keep working on it until uh, until we got just a square field and it'd be a lot easier to get around the field, I think. And then we can use it for like putting businesses on the edge of the field. All right, there we go. So, I'm trying to think what to do here. Um, the uh, thing did come in, so let's take a quick look at that. Um, I think it was just because it was so much, oh, look at all the silty clay. So down the road, this is going to become a place where we're going to put businesses. That silty clay is not good. So we know we're probably not going to want to buy this. Probably not going to want to buy this one right away. But you do see we do have a little bit of overlap there. Where we do have some good spots. So, But yeah, silty clay is not very good. But we get up here now. We got loamy sand. We got uh, sandy loam. Then we got some loam. Loam is like the best. But you look at this, this whole field, now I'm not sure I want to square it off now that I see that all this is loam down in here and stuff. This loam is really nice. Yeah, I'd like to at some point actually to plow out this field. Maybe I'd like to actually plow it, you know, and go square kind of here and then leave a little bit of space and square kind of here type of thing. But we'll see what happens, you know, it's like like to do it but actually it kind of looks like it is kind of already been a plowed field at one time so maybe just maybe we could do it i'm tempted to uh take the soil sampler over there and take a sample and see what happens see if it actually shows it like a field But I'm going to take a quick look and see what we can find. I want to actually take a look at the, at least these two fields. We can worry about the other two, or the other one, when we go down there. But if we do need uh, anything as far, um, the pH is not bad. It's in the okay range, so... Actually, here, let's take a quick look at pH. Um, yeah, this one's pretty decent. Um, where's our field number one? And other than right here and right here, we're pretty good for pH. So I don't know if we really need to do it this time. We can do it next time. Yeah, let's, let's look into doing it next time because uh, I don't really see how, you know, doing the whole field is really going to bring our score down too much. Or bring it back, or bring it up very much. So let's take a quick look at what we can get. Um, so... Uh, this one here is a very good planter. I don't think there's any in here. No. Whoops. Now I got it. There we go. Um, this is pretty well. Do it now. Um, this is actually pretty decent. It is uh, only uh, nine foot wide, where this one is twelve. You know, so it's another three feet. You know, if we had more money, I'd look into something like. This, which is 17, you know, because that's just 12 of this one, and so we might as well buy that before we buy that. But uh, um, that is the one thing I just noticed. This actually takes both the uh, things, where this only takes seed. So having the nine, nine foot, the 12 foot might be worth it, but now. Yeah, see, we'd have to go to this one out here before we actually get uh, both. And it looks like it's got to have liquid on it to uh, get it. But this one is very similar here as well. Um, 
We want to have to uh, spray the field with uh, with fertilizer every now and then, or do we want to uh, only be nine feet wide? I mean, we the big tractor can handle this. That's not a problem. And I'm looking into uh, possible other tractors that uh, we could uh, make our third tractor and then down the road replace the, the big one because that one's not that great of a tractor. Oh, wait, this one doesn't plant. Oh, yeah, it does. I was going to say, I want sunflowers. So, what do we want to do? I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, we can just see it. We, it's not like it's that hard to spray. We got a good sprayer, a half a decent sprayer. We can buy a bigger one down the road if we want to, but this is going to just about, uh, actually, let's go with the bank, but I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, wishy-washy on it. I just want to get this done and get, okay, so, where's the green one? Right there. We'll go over and grab that quickly. I just, uh, I was really kind of, you know, looking at that, but the more I looked at it, the more I'm like, are we even going to be able to afford seeds to put in it? So this thing's going to take more than one bag of seed to, uh, to seed this whole field. So, since we're right here by the beehive, I want to see, I don't know if we just don't have enough, uh, Honey right now, or no? See, we're low on bees again now. So I'm gonna see if we bring the bees over. Oh yeah, see it. Uh, you must have some die off, you know, bees. But I thought for sure this would have. Uh, Put it over there in the other section, you know. Okay, so we're gonna put those over there and see what kind see if we when we come back if there's more honey sitting there or not. That seems kinda of, well yeah, see now there's two more things of honey. I wonder if we have to do something to connect that to the hive or something because uh, unless that's like if you have multiple hives or something. But I also know certain things allow you to, uh, you know, if this wasn't a grass field here. I would think about making that as my purchase next because it's only like 80 some thousand and we can sell the silo which is 30 some thousand which would bring us back down to uh, 50,000 we'd be paying for the land but I'm not sure I really want a, a bunch more grass hmm. So I don't know if we're going to get, you know, any further than getting this back. I don't think we're going to. I'm going to. I'm going to purchase. Uh, like. Probably like two and two. You know, so we'll get two bags of seeds and two bags of fertilizer. And go from there. Oh, yeah, I forgot that thing was over here. I think it's monstrous, isn't it? And supposedly this thing's going to be able to handle it, so. Now, I've, I've used this one before, so I know that one works good. Okay. Go ahead, and we're going to get uh, two bags of seed. And we'll get a few things of solid fertilizer. I'm just glad we didn't need anything else because uh, I 
I didn't want to have to use too much. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to load the pickup truck up with the bags and uh, bring them over because we're definitely going to need them. But I think we'll probably get both bags of fertilizer in there. We might even need one more. Yeah, I'm not. We'll grab two more before we we load up the trailer and come over. Just so that we've got them, because it doesn't take a whole lot with the with the other unit there. So, or you know, with the yeah, ninety nine percent will probably last us probably 90% of the field, if not the whole entire field. Well, at least now we'll have three fields. We got one left to cultivate. And I don't think that's going to take much to cultivate tomorrow. Or next week, whatever it is. That's, yeah, next week. So We'll get that cultivated. We'll get this field planted, and then we'll kick the clock ahead, and we'll start doing the other two fields. But I, I was looking at this when I was coming back from after scamming the other field. We could actually sell this uh, this tower, even though we don't own it. That's kind of funny. I'm actually thinking about selling every if when we do buy that lot, sell everything on the lot so that we can put in, you know, something, you know, so we can uh, put in one of our other businesses that help uh, the main business. And let's see if I remember right. I want to go like this. Oh wow, the. It definitely is going to need the, the other stuff, so. The, um, the fertilizing, you know, it definitely, you can see how red it is, so. It definitely needs yeah, the nitrogen. But I think we're probably going to call it there. We've got enough to... Uh, for me to finish off this video so next time like i said we're gonna do this um i'm gonna see what i'm gonna look into the whole b thing see what we can do with those extra large lots if they're just there you know to set stuff or what the deal is but we'll see what we can do with it and uh go from that point we'll get get field number 20 going with uh with its stuff and then we'll go down and uh, do 26 even though it is loamy play I mean I still want to try and get a couple uh, we don't need to you know, use the, all the really good stuff maybe what we'll end up doing and it would actually help the field out is if we put uh, the um I remember what it's called uh, it's not something we can sell it's that uh, I don't think it's on this list. Uh, the oil seed. We put the oil radish in there. Uh, and that'll, uh, we go through and then we heart, you know, you don't really harvest it, but uh, just run it through, get it done. That'll actually bring the, everything up for that field and we might get a few more points out of it. I don't, I didn't really see what we'll get for points. Uh, let's see. So if I go like this, you know, we got 57, 57. And it does show that we're actually getting 50 here, so that's not completely horrible. But this is only a 42. I think we could bring this up to 57 if we actually, uh, you know, did something with it. But I'm going to get the other tractor down there, set it up so it's ready to go for next time. And now we got the tractor set up up here. And we'll just kind of go from that point. Well, I will see you guys next time.